I want to show you how to add a page header in your My Theme Howard website. So here we have a mostly base default install with some content in here. We're on the blog page now. I'm going to go to Customize, Theme Settings, Page Header. I'll enable this on Single Posts and Post Archives. Here we have a default image set. We could remove it and just use a solid color. But let's set an image so we can show you some other cool features there. We'll go a little darker with the overlay. And now that we're enabled on single posts, let's go to a post. And now if we go to our single content settings, single post settings, because the page header is enabled, we have some extra page header settings. So now for single posts, we can set a default image for all single posts to fall back to. And we can also use the featured image as the page header image, which is really powerful. And now if you have the image in the page header, but you don't want it displaying here, you just remove it. You can pick any color you want. And this is just for post now, it's overriding the default. You can see how many different layout options and customization ability there is here. Let's go back to the blog, go back to the page header settings. And you can see here there's some vertical spacing. This is viewport widths, but you can use any unit value, as it says here. If we want something small, we want it tighter to the bottom. We want it huge. Viewport widths is a great unit because it scales as you get down to mobile. It's not as huge. It's relative to the width of the device that you're on. And if we enable pages, You have the same customization here. Now we have settings just for pages with defaults and use featured image and opacity. This is the text color. If you were to use a light image and you wanted it dark, if you leave it default, then the theme tries to choose the best given the settings. There are tons of configuration options, all easy to use. The last thing I want to show you is how to display specific content per post or page or content type. Here I'm on a single post. We have our page header enabled still. I'm going to edit this post. Now, I already showed you how to set in the customizer to use the featured image as the page header image. But let's say you want a specific image just for the page header, separate from the featured image. Well, here's how you can do that. We have a custom meta box for the page header. And if you add an image, and update, you can see here, our new image is used as the page header image, separate from the featured image. Let's go back to edit this post. I wanna show you the description field we have as well. I'm gonna add a custom description, save that, I'm gonna view our post, and here you can see we have a custom page header description. It's that easy.